Hey there, my name is Vokile. Um, I am here in this tutorial today to explain uh, the unison intervals or uh, the unison interval. Uh, let me be quick to say the unison interval can best be imagined as two instruments playing the same note. Okay, two instruments playing the same note. If if you got a piano there, a keyboard, a a violin, a guitar, and and then a um, a mbira playing the same note tuned to standard tuning, then you what you're gonna hear is a unison. The sound would be nice. You can you can hear that the sound is different from just one note. Okay. So it's called a unison. On the guitar, though, on the fretboard, the, the guitar is a very beautiful instrument. You can get unisons on the guitar, unlike on the uh, on the keyboard. You don't even want to learn on the keyboard. There is only one note that sounds like itself. Okay, just only one note. But on the guitar, the beauty of the guitar is you 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 have one note that can be played on. Uh, different strings in different positions. So let, let's look at this uh, diagram here. Uh, this is my fretboard, and by the way, my, my these are fret fret numbers. Uh, I, I I normally want to pick a twenty four fret guitar because that's what, that's the one I use, and uh, I can also demonstrate these ones on the guitar. Most guitars are maybe run up to twenty twenty one twenty two there thereabouts. Uh, it doesn't matter you can you can just play what what you have there okay so on this 24 fret uh, uh, diagram we're going to study the e so the first thing that you do when you're doing unisons you pick a key or a tonic or a root those are those are those are the the, the, the three names that that we you, you may have uh, for explanations of terms, please refer to the introduction to music intervals. I have explained a lot of things. I'll, I'll download it and check it, check it out. Um, so, E, this is E in the open position, uh, the, the high E string. Now, the unison between the string number one and string number two, what you do is you count from the note itself. You count one, two, three, four, five, six. You get to this fifth fret. That's above it. You go to string number two, and that's where your unison is, which is E. Now, between string number two and number three, you count one, two, three, four, five, and you go to the string above it, which is string number three. You get your unison. And between string number three and four, you count one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, you get that E there. And between uh, four and five, string four and five, one, two, three, four, five, six, you get that one there, that E. And between string number five and number six, you also count six, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, and you get your E. So there are the unisons, uh, E unisons, starting with this one as, as your root. You can also find uh, unisons starting from this E here, you know. But that means you have to remove all these ones here. Because they will go in that diagonal manner as well, um, and that E, mind you, with respect to this one, is an octave above. So, in uh, no way, no way, can you put them together, th this one and that. Okay. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you when we deal with octaves, uh, how octaves go as well. Okay. So you can also find a unison, unisons of E that comes from this uh, place here. There's an E here. See, they go diagonal and they end up maybe you just have two or three here, which end up here on this E here. E string. So these are the unisons. So you, you can apply this method on, on any note from any position there. That's how you apply it. I've, just, I've only just given an example of the E. You can pick a G, you can pick any note, any note that you want. Now, for the application of the unison, you use them to deal with other intervals, which I have. It, it is currently out of the scope of this because I'm going to have it as, as, as a lesson after doing all the intervals. And I can come back to the to, to intervals, unisons of 
of intervals, uh, octaves of intervals, and so forth and so forth. You 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 will find it will be a nice uh, lesson to to look at. Now I'm gonna show you the first, the, the the application. What the, maybe the second application of unisons. Uh, besides just playing them, uh, here we go. We're going to demonstrate using triads. Uh, triads. Let me go up. So I have this one. This triad is in. It's an, a, it's an E a major triad. It's in the first inversion. Inversions are refer to the stacking of triads uh, on the strings. Uh, when the a root is stake, is such that it's on the lowest uh, string. I'm talking about frequency here. Then it means you are in the root position. When when it's on the highest string, the string number one here, it's a first inversion. What's it? when it's in the middle, it's a second inversion. If you try to invert to to invert a second inversion, you get back to the root. So here here is how how you do it to to get. Uh, the the the, the um, unison triad here. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. So so you count one two three four five six. So you put your e there, and for the b one two three four five. So it has to be here. That's where your b is, and for your g sharp one two three four five six, which is here. So the only string where you count. Maybe five is string number two. That's that's the that's the, the maybe the catch point there for you to construct your 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 triads. So this triad sounds the same as this one. The the quality might be slightly different. One of them might be slightly cooler, which is this one here. It might be slightly cooler. This one might be a little higher and you know a little harsher if you like. Um. It's very difficult to describe sound. I have to look for words to describe sound. Okay, now let's go to the next uh, next uh, unison. So you count on this one, two, three, four, five, and you put your e here. And for the third string, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you get it here. For the uh, fourth string, one, two, three, four, five, six, you got your your triad here. This is the triad: G sharp, B, and E. And for the next set of strings, you go uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then you get your E here. And this from B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You get your B here. And for the G sharp, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You get your G sharp. So these are the all these trends. You can, if you play them at the same time, or if you have four guys. One guy is playing this, the other guy playing that, the other guy playing this, the other one. And then you go, bam! You know, they're just, you know, we won't hear any distortion. They're just in sync. You just hear, bam, one bam, which is beautiful because you have beefed it up with, with the unisons. So that could be one of, one of the uses of unison triads, just to beef up, to, to strengthen the sound, you know? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, two where two or more things, you, you, you know, you get some a bit of um, cooperation there, and you get a better sound. Now let, let, let's let's get here. Uh, this triad, the same triad, E triad, is now in the second position, second position or second inversion. Second inversion means the the root itself is in the middle. In the middle. So if you're looking at string number one, two, and three, it's in the middle here. Look at any any set of strings. It's in the middle. So for your G, so if if you're talking about degrees as well, this is going to be your five, your one, and your three. Okay, five one three. So five one three is is your five one three is your second inversion. By the way, your 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 first inversion. This one was um, three five. One three five one, the, and this one is five one three. So let's go do five one three. Uh, take the, the, the 
the units on there so you count one two three four five six you put g sharp there and the second string you remember you count five one two three four five you put it there and this string number three you count six one two three four five six you put your b there so that's your that's your units on triad and you go on to the next set of strings so one two three four five you get that one one, two, three, four, five, six, you get your E here. And for B O B, one, two, three, four, five, six, you get your unison. So you do the same for this um triad. Likewise, if if you got your one, two, three, four guys playing these on these different positions, you're gonna get a beautiful sound. You won't hear any distortion. They will go just bam, one beautiful sound coming out. Now let's go to the next one. The next one is the root position. The root position is when the root is in the thickest string. In here, in, in our example here, it's on the third string. So you get here on the on the on the on the on this fret here. Um fret number nine. So you, you go here uh E or oh, let's in degrees it's one, three, and five. So E, G sharp, and B. So to get the, the unison on this next set of strings, you get you count one, two, three, four, five, six. Get a B here. For G sharp, one, two, three, four, five. Remember, the, this is tuned half a note below. So you remember that. So this is your G sharp. Then for your E, one, two, three, four, five, six. Your E. So you, you can fret this E here and play at the same time that you just hear a unison a unison triads being played there now go to the next uh, string set one for, for starting from the second string one two three four five you could you put your b there and from the third string you count from g sharp one two three four five six you get your next g sharp here and for this set which is the fourth string one two three four five six therefore you get your you get your um shape here which is uh, a major triad in the in the root position the strings uh, five four and three you get that one and if you do the same you get this one here so this this is um the e major triad in the root position now if you get your guys again your four guys again to play the, those chords at the same time or or even stagger them you want you may not be able to hear that they're being played on different instruments or different positions. Now, the way to practice this is just to, you, you may want to strum them. If, if you've got a, 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 like a rhythm that is going four times, four times, you know, or, or that, 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 that has four divisions. Like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, we'll talk about rhythm at some point. Uh, you can be strumming these ones one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, if you put another, uh, supposing you're doing one, four, five, so you go one, four, four, one, you go to one, two, three, four, you play those unisons once, and you go to the next thread, you do that again. So you can do that for this. That's how you practice that. Uh, Thanks very much. We will delve deeper into this as we deal with in intervals and chords. Because it's very important for chords. Uh, you can you, you can group strings into four strings and then you can find the chords. Um, we also can do the tetrads, tetrads, uh, like seventh chords, seventh chords, one, one, which have a formula of one, three, uh, four, and seven. Uh, sorry, one, one, three, five, and seven. So we'll deal that with that later on. Thank you very much. My name is Fikile. Keep watching because you're going to learn a lot of things from this and utilize them in your to develop your skills. Bye.